guys, this video is how I do my foundation routine and how I contour with my cream kit. I'll show you how I get from this to this. Starting off, I'll be correcting my under eye area with this Studio Finish Corrector by MAC in the shade Burnt Coral. The foundation I'm using is the HD Foundation by Makeup Forever. This is my second bottle and I absolutely love it. So I'm just applying it with my Wet Beauty Blender. Now going in with my concealer and I'm using the Eraser Eye by Maybelline. I find this really hydrating and but it doesn't give me the coverage I want so I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever full cover um, in the shade 7. Now for contouring, I'll be using the Medium Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So starting off, I always like to use the light colours first, just because I use the same brush. And I'm going in with the shade Banana. So I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes, forehead, nose and around my lip area. Now with the cinnamon colour, I'm going to place this on hollows my cheeks, forehead, jawline, down my nose and this will give an illusion I have a slimmer face. Now going in with the colour chocolate, I'm just going over the hollows of my cheeks again and this will bring out my cheekbones a little bit more forward and make it more chiselled and appear more slimmer. For my blush, I'll be using the colour Warm Coral, which is a light peachy colour. Um, this really reminds me of the Kat Von D blush in Wish, which is my ultimate favourite. To set the highlighted areas, I'm using the colour Soft Focus and Emphasise, um, both by MAC. To set the contoured areas, I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Darkest. Now finishing off my eyes, I'm using the colour Deep Dampson by MAC and then I'm going to smoke it out with the colour Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. To brighten up my inner corner of my eyes, I'm using the colour Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek and the reason why I love this colour is because it's really smooth and you can't see the chunky glitter bits. For mascara, I'm using this Extended Play by MAC and I'm going to add some more lashes so I'm using this Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. For 
former highlighter I'm using Becca Cosmetics in the shade Opal. To finish off my look I'm using this really fun neon pink colour which is a Liquid Lips by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Party Pink. So this completes my look and I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.